Hey guys, today we're gonna do some DIYing because I mean, what else is there to do while everybody's stuck at home? In all honesty, um, it's because I am doing some remodeling as I've shown you guys and right now the washer and dryer pulled out and I don't have any clean clothes so excuse the boobage because I'm in a sports bra and the shirt that I'm going to be um, repurposing is this straight out of Compton shirt and this has already been repurposed it started as a t-shirt and it was not mine and it was too big um, so I cut off the bottom because it was way too long and it the sleeves were already cut off but they were cut off too long in the last time somebody cut them and it just did not work so when I cut off the bottom it separated the two sides and it's just made this into like a kind of weird shirt and I'm like let's see if we can try to make this look better so we're just getting a little creative today and we're just shooting from the hip um I repurpose a lot of my clothes <laughs> I mean you'll see I've got oh I've got leggings on that I made into shorts it's Florida and when it gets hot what do we do we take our leggings and we make them into shorts because you're not going to wear pants in this weather it's too hot it's too humid as you see my hair is frizzy from the humidity I'm sweating a little bit even though the air is on in here it's just this is Florida life so I end up repurposing a lot of my stuff like I transition it from winter to summer or I'll take like nice clothes that start to get worn and transition them into like casual or gym wear so I kind of give them like a second life because I just am creative and crafty like that and it's just my thing um I just like that idea I like the idea of being resourceful and recycling things and repurposing things um the fashion industry is one of the uh biggest um uh, 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 uh what do I want to say a lot of the stuff in the landfills is uh Clothes. I mean, we throw clothes away like it's just supposed to be like, oh, this is trash. And it's like, no, this isn't trash. This is something that could be used. I've been out of this country. To I've been to third world countries. I've been to Africa. I am grateful for this and I don't want to um, harm Mother Nature and the planet. I try to be conscious of the planet. I try to leave a small footprint here. And uh, I'm just kind of about that. Like, why not, you know? And why not just try to be creative and if it doesn't work out, you can donate it or use it as a rag or whatever you wanna do with it. But I'm just not a fan of like throwing clothes away. Um, I was just raised by kind of like a hippy dippy mom <laughs> who's a big uh, proponent of uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. So here we are. So let's get started. Um, let me just kind of show you what it looks like on. I, don't, I have such a weird setup. So you might not be able to see all this, but we'll try, we'll try. So I can just show you kind of the before. It's not like awful, but it's not great either. Okay. So yeah, that angle ain't cutting it. So it's not bad. Like when I pair red shorts, leggings with it with like a red bra under I mean these go up pretty high it's actually not too bad <laughs> I'm like looking at it in the mirror behind me and I'm like with this particular short and uh, t-shirt or short and bra it's not awful but I don't know just the way it like flaps open I don't know it just seems a little inappropriate at times and I just feel like I could make it better. So what I want to do is take the sides and kind of uh, lace them up, close them up a little. And what I'm going to use for that is just a piece of black scrap material. So like I said, it's gotten warmer here. So I've been taking my leggings and cutting them into shorts and this is literally one of the legs that I cut off to make you know my leggings into kind of like long biker shorts type of situation and I kept this because I had a few different ideas with it but I always use scraps like this and these were like almost new so I'm like I just feel bad 
letting this go to waste. So I've come up with an idea for it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this shirt, the shirt that I'm working on, and I'm going to work on it like right here. It's probably not the best angle for me in uh, my cuteness, but it's not my good side. But whatever. I don't have a good setup and this is probably the best way for you guys to see this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and like clean up the side. So as you'll see here, part of the reason it was like flapping is because it's not cut straight. And uh, so I'm going to clean that up. I think I'm going to keep these bottom, the bottom tied for right now. But I'm just going to take this edge and clean it up, make it a little straighter, cleaner. You can tell that this was cut by a guy previously because he did not give a beep. <laughs> he just like, he may have just ripped it. He may not have even used scissors. I don't know. This hair is a little crazy today. Don't mind that. Um, uh, okay. So yeah, just cleaning that up, trying to make it straight and cleanish. I mean, whenever you're cutting shirts and stuff like this that you're repurposing, they don't need to be perfect because as you see, that edge folds over, like once you wash it or stretch it. Um, so you don't really see it per se. You don't see the full extent of the ugly lines but you will see, um, you know, it may lay differently on you. So I'm obviously a curvy girl, so you see like every little bump off my curve. I am trying to make this hair right, but there's just no going. I'm a wild woman, you guys. I just got out of the shower and I didn't do anything with it today because I am about to go work out anyways. So what's she gonna do? I'm not gonna do my hair because it's about to get sweaty and nasty anyways and i'm going to cut out the like you can see where some of the previous seam is still in there so i'm going to cut that out cut it out cut it out okay and this is just leaving me with some like little scraps minimal waste right my friends okay so that cleans that edge up let's see this edge and now look at this. See, there's a hole over here. I'm going to try to use this hole. It's not going to make sense right now, but it will. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to lace up the side and basically like make my own little side seam here out of nothing. Like it's magic. <laughs> the magic of the lacing. Now you could use, like if I had a, uh, if I had some extra shoestrings, which I think I do have somewhere, but I'm not going to go looking for them because I have this literally right here. Like I just cut this out of those leggings the other day, but if you had a shoestring, you could use a shoestring and lace it up the side, you know, weave it in a little. But since I don't have a shoestring, that's why I'm going to use this extra piece of fabric and I'm just going to try to make this work. I'm literally just going to let me let me come up here for those weird and strange angles. I'm just cutting a straight line. Wait for it. Wait for it. So I'm cutting. God, how do these five minute crafts people in DIYers show the angles? Cause I I don't know. <laughs> look over my shoulder and craft with me that's the new channel look over my shoulder and craft with me that's what we're gonna call it it's five minutes crafts makes things look so easy because first of all they speed everything up i mean no craft is like five minutes my friends but uh whatever i'll go along with it just for the sake of youtube and life but you see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting like a spiral out of this piece of material. Now you could cut strips if you wanted. 
and tie each strip, you know, like loop around two holes and tie it, loop around two holes and tie it. I'm gonna do a few holes and then just make one continuous um, strip is what I'm thinking. Part of crafting is like, it's art, you know? You never make, you can't make mistakes in art. So you just kind of go with it. You have an idea and you execute. Sometimes it looks cute, sometimes it doesn't. This is part of the game, my friends. But you see how this is coming out is a straight thing. I'll clean up this edge. That's just because the starting piece is gonna make that second piece a little wonky because you can't. You have to start from somewhere. So yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? You are probably gonna have rows, especially when you're doing it in like such a weird position like I am. You're gonna have some rows that are thicker than others, but once you get to the next step, you're not really going to see that. It will all come together, just trust me, okay, trust me. All these people that edit their videos so pretty and speed up things, like, God bless you. Because I just do not have that level of patience. <laughs> you guys are probably watching like, well, girl, we don't have this level of patience to watch you do this right now. As I'm sweating. Let me turn on a fan. I'm so... <laughs> it's so loud. Oh, you guys, but it's necessary right now. Just, just hold on while the background noise continues. Uh... Bootleg crafts will be over shortly, so any sound intolerance that you're experiencing, this is just a good test of patience and uh, mental fortitude in mind over matter. Or just put me on mute, whichever one, if you can even see what's going on right now. What a weird angle. How many people do this? God knows they have like lights and tripods and angles and... I'm just a girl sitting on the ground cutting part of my legging. Like, <laughs> I ain't got no tripod. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh, God, I cracked myself up. Like, if you guys don't find it humorous, <laughs> I'm just over here laughing at myself. Okay. I'm cutting as fast as I can because I know you guys are like, how long is this cutting situation going to last? And my answer to that is, I don't know, until it feels right. Like most things in life. That's my answer to most things in life. Okay. This hair. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta do something. First we gotta do something about the heat. Now we gotta do something about the hair. Don't mind my armpit. Okay, let's see how long. Oh, 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 okay. That's longer than I thought it was. That may be good enough. The only thing is, you want to err on the side of like too long because you do it too short. You got to think it's going to like wrap up the side. I think that may be good enough though. So I'm just going to cut it off right there. Now, like, don't worry that, you know, you got a seam because like I said, this is a leg of a pant. So there's a seam over here that's going to be seen in my string. But once I weave it into the shirt, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, my friends. But I am going to go back to my little string here and just take a look through it and clean up some of the poopiness like that. Uh, okay. Now there are parts of this that may be a little too thick. But whatever, I just didn't want to make it too thin because look, I'm going to stretch it out. And when I stretch it out, I didn't want it to be too thin and too weak. Um, you just won't, you won't see much of the variances in the thickness. Look at that hem. Once you stretch it, you don't see too much going on there. You know, it kind of, um, the only thing you have to watch out for is that don't pull that too hard because depending on if that hem is reinforced, that seam is reinforced, you may pull it apart depending on the quality of your original legging that you were working with. But you can use whatever. You can use whatever 
scraps you have. Like I said, you don't need to do one long string. You can do a bunch of long, you know, a bunch of shorter strings and just loop them together. But, and I'll just show you guys one side and then maybe I'll take a picture of the final product, the final product and put it on my Instagram because I am trying to some of you guys know I used to have an Instagram and then I had issues with it, got hacked, all this stuff happened. So now I'm completely restarting it, redoing it, and it's like a whole different situation. I'm not great with all the social medias. As you guys know, I'm not like the most techie or patient person. Um, but I will try to post more pictures because I've had a lot of people asking for pictures of the DIY before and afters and remodels and stuff like that. So I do want to post that stuff. Okay. I think we adequately have this stretched out, my friends. Farmers Crafts, what you got on that, girl? Okay, next up. Now, this is where I said, like, I'm going to make use of that hole that's in here. Because basically, this is one edge, right? One side. And I'm going to cut little holes to then weave this string through. I think I'm just going to keep it tied at the bottom. I don't know. Or should I just use my weavedness to keep it together at the bottom? I'm just thinking through this as I go. I don't, I don't have a plan, you guys. This is goes to show you how real. This is not like a patterned Pinterest situation. This is like, I just go straight from the hip. I just create from the top of my brain. Okay. Well, I totally thought I'd be using the couch behind me is my work table, but uh, it turns out that's not a great way or angle. And I don't think you guys can see any of it, so <laughs> we're pivoting and uh, <laughs> going a different route now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start down here and cut a little slit. I'm just cutting it like this. I'm just folding the shirt over, cutting, folding the shirt in half where I want to cut it. And then once you open it up, you'll see a little hole, right? Nothing too big though. Cause like I said, things like this, you err on the safe side. You know, if it's too small, I can always uh, recut and make it bigger. And now I'm going over to the other side of that and I'm gonna try to line it up and cut you guys this is craft realness you know these freaking YouTube videos that make it actually look like a farmer sure <laughs> yeah god bless you creative movie producer type youtubers cuz what bless you boo-boos Boo-boos, you sneeze and people gonna think you got the coronies. Um, just in the house by myself, crafting uh, with my kitty. Kitty crafts, five minute crafts, whatever. This is kitty crafts, this is real. Okay, see that? Kinda lined it up. Goes all the way through to both sides. Look, 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 look. Look, look, friends, look, look. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'm just gonna go for the down. I don't really know my spacing here. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm going to do the same thing. If I had better scissors, I could probably cut through, I could probably double it up and cut through both sides at once and line it up perfectly. But uh, where did these scissors come from? I don't know. Probably from my third grade supplies bin that I've had my whole life. Yes, mom. Thank you. Thank you. You've made my kitty crafts come to reality. Okay, 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 okay. Um, is this goofy and ridiculous? I don't know, you guys. You tell me if you like this goofy side of me, which is a very real side of me. A lot of times on my YouTube, um, I try to be a little bit more astute in a... <laughs> my goofy side does not come out as much just because uh, a lot of you know that th this channel originally started from um, 
I was mentoring with a couple different nonprofits and uh, one of them had asked me to do some like mentorship videos like as like a you know like if you had a big sister which what would you want her to tell you type of thing and um, so I try to be cognizant of the fact that a lot of those girls started following me and that's where everything started it's morphed since then you know I uh, don't put out all you know just the content aimed at like big sis type stuff but um, I do want to get into I'm trying to use a little bit more of the goofy side of me lately because with everything happening in the world I just feel like we need to laugh a little more and have fun and not take not take things so seriously I guess you could say not that you know what's happening isn't a serious thing it obviously is but um, yeah I'm just wanting <laughs> I, I just feel like I've enjoyed other people embracing their goofy funny sides during all this and yeah, I just think that's the way to get through this. And so I'm wanting to share a little bit more of that with uh, you guys. And long story short, long story long, actually, um, my Snapchat has been alive and well <laughs> lately. So that's kind of where I post a lot of my goofy stuff. So if you guys are into checking that out, please do. I will warn you, it is like goofy. It, some people may be like, this is goofy bordering on like straight up weird, but yeah, that's where my personal non-professional side dwells. So <laughs> that's just the way it is, my friends. Now I'm just continuing these little holes up the side. And basically, you know, the whole point of doing this up the side is I just want to make this appropriate to wear to Home Depot. Let's be honest, without getting harassed. <laughs> so, okay, I just off camera ish continued those holes up the side. God, I'm probably going to run out of memory on this uh, video, but you know, anything for you guys, anything for you guys. All right, I'm just gonna crisscross this now, up this shirt. I'm just, I'm just bobbing and weaving, you know? I'm just, now you could do all sorts of cool patterns. Like, when I was younger, I used to be so into, um, I used to be so into looking up really cool patterns. Now I'm trying to think of how to end this so it doesn't come through my shirt. We'll think about that here in a second. I mean, why think ahead? But when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with tennis shoes. I used to be a little bit of a sneakerhead. And um, I, I'm i just about like not, I was never one of those like fit in with the crowds type of people. So I used to love looking up different shoe patterns for lacing up my shoes online just to like customize my shoes. I used to paint my shoes. I used to do cool laces in my shoes, all sorts of stuff. You know, I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a side to side or if I want to do a crisscross pattern. And I just did side to side and I'm not really liking that as much as I thought I would. Now keep in mind that like this is you know, you don't have any type of grommet or anything on these holes, so these holes can stretch, they can tear, they will do all of that. But I'm just going to do a loose, a loose weave. Not hair, but shirt and ties. Now, if you are like a superior Pinterest freak and you're watching this like, girl, this is ghetto. My answer to that is, yeah, I am a ghetto person, a ghetto crafter, a ghetto, ghetto, just ghetto, you know, like, it's just part of me. I like to ghetto rig things. I like to just uh, express myself freely. And if it comes off as 
ghetto rigged in this particular design, then you know what? I'm sorry, we tried, we tried and at least I could fail for you. So when you guys go to do something like this, like if you ever had the idea to do this, maybe you can be like, yo girl, you saved me from some 25 minutes now <laughs> from, and from ruining a shirt that I maybe wanted to save and blah, 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 blah. Um, but I keep looking at the clock because you know, like most crafts, it takes far longer than what you ever planned. And I'm like, I actually have to go do work right now. I'm supposed to be cleaning one of my condos and that's not currently happening. Like, you know, this was a shirt I was gonna wear, so we can't leave until our crafts are done. Duh. <laughs> you know, you could always just take a sewing machine and sew up the side. <laughs> but I sold my sewing machine a long time ago. It just took up too much space and I didn't use it enough to justify that space. And I used to live in the city and I now live in multiple places. <laughs> I live out of a suitcase, essentially. Uh, so, the yeah, the sewing machine just wasn't going to make it into my suitcase. <laughs> so I got rid of it. But this is like an alternative, right? If you don't, not everybody's got a sewing machine or a grandma that sews or whatever, took sewing class or whatever. Some people just want like a real casual look, okay? I like that like casual, unfinished look. I'm about that life. It's like in style right now, isn't it? Okay, I think I got... Did I get it through all those loops? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, look at it. Cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. Or you could stretch it out and, uh, you know, have it more of like a loose fit, a loose tie. You see, you see, you see, you see. <laughs> Not too bad, right? Right, right, right. You can stretch it out as much as you want. Okay. I'm going to put it on now. So we can see what the situation looks like on. Uh, and you can always adjust it depending on how the shirt fits or how you want it to fit. Or you can leave some extra tie here but look right this is like the before super open like you know I just I don't want to be showing all of this when I'm I'm usually wearing this just like out to run errands or to the gym or you know when you're working out you don't want you're doing all this and you got your little little side chub here and you're like you know what I'd rather have that a little covered up so that is what it looks like. I'm going to cut this up here and probably just uh, triple knot it so it doesn't come through the loop, you know, so it stays in. And then same with the bottom. You know what? I might, I don't mind that. I might like keep that loose and dangly. And then once again, just knot the end of it so it doesn't come through the holes. But look, see, I refined the shirt. And then it also makes it a little more like fitted instead of this loose flowy like I'm in seventh grade basketball or something <laughs> you know when you're young and you have no curves or boobs or anything and this is like okay or maybe just the guys do it I don't know but I used to do it um a little more you know covered up situation let me know what you guys think maybe you like this open side it doesn't look too bad with this little coordinated fit underneath um I feel like this though, concealing more, it's more appropriate to go in public into the gym and not be self-conscious of my chub moving around. And not only that, but there's not as much pressure to have a bra that matches my uh, bottoms. And look at this from the front. See how it, like, corves are shown over here. Over here it's just like, 
What is this? What is that? I don't... I just feel so open. I feel so open over there. So... <laughs> All right, that is, that is uh, not five minutes crafts, but like 35 minute crafts for you guys. I hope it helps. I'll show, um, I'll take pictures of the finished product and post it on my Instagram here within the next couple weeks or so, or whenever I remember and post it in all honesty. Um, or it may be posted now, depending on when I get this video posted. Who knows? Um, but it's such a great way to upcycle a shirt and to reuse any scraps from other things that you've upcycled, recycled, cut, shredded, done whatever with. I don't know. I'm just into that like grungy, cut up, unfinished look that's in right now. I am embracing it fully. And I like that it just allows us to reuse our stuff and not waste as much material and clothes and everything like that and just be grateful. And sometimes I'll like, sometimes I'll do this to shirts and like the new shirt that I created.